Okay, so I'm at my sister's house. I'm on vac vacation for 10 days or so, and uh, she has this bathroom upstairs in her third floor that was never, never finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me get the light real quick. So she, uh, this bathroom was up here and it was never, it was never turned on. Basically, it's been like this for so many years. Plumbing's not finished. You know, the, all the pieces are here. It's just not. It's not ready to go. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light on real quick, show you guys what we're working with, and then uh, I got a few days left. I told her, well, hey, I'm here, and I'm not doing anything during the weekday, so I can go ahead and finish it for, or at least get it plumbed in and ready to go. I've done quite a few bathrooms in my day. All right, so, real quick. I got, you know, just a regular small bathroom, right? Tub goes over here, sink over there, Toilet over here, and then all the plumbing. I'll give you guys a little quick, quick tour on this plumbing. So we got the fan on. I turned the water on, and it leaked into this little crawl space here. So there's, a, I got to redo the plumbing because it's all messed up. Anyways, so it goes down in there. I got this cat. Plumbing comes in from down there from the downstairs bathroom. All this drainage is good, we checked it all. Vent's good, uh, you know, everything's good, so we're gonna replace a bunch of this stuff and I'm gonna get started right now. Look at this cat. <laughs> all right, let me show you what I'm working with downstairs. Okay, so here's what we're working with downstairs. She has this, uh, this, um, <laughs> I don't know, fabric on the wall. It's like wallpaper, but fabric. So we ripped that off this column right here. There's a column. Tore that off. And we went ahead and, uh, and just ripped off this plant panel board right here and found the, the all the all the, the the plumbing so i went ahead and cut here and cut here this is hot this is cold plumbing's down here there and there and now what we're doing is we're fishing up some 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 tubes up here i'm gonna fix up some pex fittings make sure they go straight shot all the way to the, to the shower and we're kind of going from there Okay, so I got the uh, shark bite connectors on. This is fed up through there. We had to go around, but it worked out pretty well. So I'll show you guys up there in a minute. All right, so there's the water coming in. So before it came in from here, we tried to get it to come in from down there underneath the staircase. I'll let you guys see this real quick. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but there's a staircase down there. Uh, here's some of the water damage or water leaking that we had. All right, anyways, this is where we're at right now. Uh, it's hard to tell, but this is where it's coming up at. Yeah, I got rid of all that CPVC that was there before. I just ripped it out, and then we went ahead and put it in there. So, now we're going to go ahead and get all this stuff out of here. And get going at this. Get the plumbing done, and then, uh, probably going to use this bathtub, but we got a new sink. Alright. This was a little backdrop holder for the sink to rest on. And, uh, somebody put in, like, like four screws in each hole just to, just to get this on here without, you know, thinking about spending ten cents on a washer. You know, that's the kind of things that, you know, you, I don't know, I would use a washer. Just letting you guys know that. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. Got the, got the sink out, got the tub out, got the toilet out. We're going to go ahead and replace, you know, everything we can here. Put a new ring in. We're going to replace the plumbing over here. This thing is, you know, not looking so good. Plus it's not hooked up down here. So we got to figure out run to the store and get a bunch of uh, packs or shark bite connectors or something. Probably going to reuse this CPVC. Got to run the um, vanity right here. It has an open back, but I don't have a lot of time to tear open all the drywall and reroute this plumbing. I'm just going to reuse it as is. And what we're going to do is uh, cut a hole in the side. Probably a hole up here and another hole down there to slide these in. I might just actually cut these and then uh, just poke them through. These, these are going to sit up here. Yeah. These are gonna sit up here like this. I gotta rear out some over here so that you know there's no problem with the wall. Right now that, that wouldn't be good. I have to brought it behind here and over to here. And then I'll yeah, I'll cut a little slot down there to slide these two, two in, and then we're gonna put a um I'll put a piece of wood in here and then you know mount these to the wall so they stay there and they don't wiggle around a lot, you know, like 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 that. But so far so good. Uh, my next step is gonna be to rip down this wall. We cut down this wall, part of this wall, 
a part of this wall. We replaced this up here with the new shower head. Uh, we got this little uh, kit. A lot of this stuff was left of the house, so like the new vanity was left of the house. Um, we're just gonna reuse the toilet and the uh, and the bathtub. So I'll uh, do another update whenever this wall's down. All right. Okay, so we got the drywall down here, and we're gonna go ahead and get some uh, green board or something like that, something that's waterproof membrane type deal, and put it up in here. We're gonna use this, while we have this off, we're gonna secure up some of these, that way they're not all wobbly and stuff like that. So we'll secure that there and a few other things. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next update here. All right. Okay, so we got the plumbing uh, done in here. We just gotta check it again, and but this is how it's looking right now. Comes in under here. This is all new too. And it comes up over to here. These are these are reused, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we already did do a leak check, and these are all fine. Let's gotta do another one. Uh, my sister started painting already, so a little bit of baby blue going on here. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll show you guys after we. Uh, Get the tub in, make sure that dry fits. Do some like little light electrical and then uh, do the floors and hang up this tile. Okay, so we got the tub installed. Uh, it's the old tub, but you know, we're trying to save some money here. Again, this is my sister's, um, you know, it's like a guest bathroom type thing in her attic. You know, this is just an attic. I'm not gonna show it, but um, anyways, we went ahead and got this tub in there. Fits like a glove. Got all the plumbing set up. I gotta put this uh, this back on. We had to cut it off to get the uh, to get the tub on. So I'll put that back on before we start up the water. Did a drain test with that bucket of water. Uh, zero leaks. Uh, down here is all the plumbing. So as you can see, it's you know it's pretty hard to see, but it's it's there. And then uh, we got to get a piece of um, trim for this uh, overflow up here. So that was lost sometime. I just had to you know raise this up a little bit put a piece of trim on there cover it up now the tub's pretty dirty had a bunch of paint and caulking on it so scraping that a little bit and then uh yeah so next step here is uh i'm gonna go ahead and get the, the floor down once i get the floor down get the, to the toilet in and then get the vanity set up over here so we'll put it over here get that in there get all this stuff tightened up along the wall here i'm not going to do this drywall piece this is going to be uh my sister's uh, boyfriend will, will take care of that. He's also going to move this light. So right now this is just like one of those, uh, I don't know, wall sconce type lights. Uh, we got a light bar. It's going to go up here. So he's just going to go ahead and and, and, uh, and move that up there after I leave. Again, I don't have time. I do it myself, but I only have a couple days here on this project. I'm on vacation, and uh, this is what happens when I go on vacation. Anyway, I, I love I love helping my sister out, so this is this is fun for me. Anyways, um, yeah, next up, next update will be the, the flooring. And then after that, we're going to put on the, um, cement board and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to build in like a little, uh, like a shelf for, for some soap and whatnot. So yeah, we'll do that. And the only problem is these are two by threes. These aren't two by four. So I got to go, go to the store and get some two by threes so I can make this shelf pretty pretty equal otherwise I have to dig into the drywall behind this and I don't want to do that so all right yeah I'll see you guys in the next update all right so another quick update got the floor in so pretty easy floor costs about 60 bucks 70 bucks maybe had a bunch of leftover too because Home Depot doesn't let you pick and choose onesies which is is what it is we're gonna put a piece of trim here probably a quarter round or something along those lines or maybe actually a nice piece of trim that matches and we're going to trim around the edges of all this so vanity's going to go over there trim 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 uh, threshold and trim around here it all turned out pretty good even without like like the trim on there so putting the toilet in now then we'll put the vanity in and i'm gonna call it a night tomorrow we're going to get working on uh all this up here Okay, toilet's in, good to go, caulked, uh, tested, dumped a few buckets of uh, water down there to make sure nothing leaked. It's uh, good to go. Okay, so we got, uh, got the sink in first and foremost. I got to get the connections for the bottom still, but it's in there, it's good to go. 
this floor's not level at all, so we had to prop it up, and uh, it's kind of sitting off the ground there. We're going to get some shims or something. And then um, we got the plastic up, vapor barrier. Got a nailer up here for the cement board, and then we, we built in a little shelf. It's a small shelf, but it's something, you know, it's all level. This has got a little bit of a, um, you know, a, it's tilted towards the towards the tub so that it can drain. And then uh, everything else is good to go. Got to trim off this piece here yet. Took some more screws out. I nailed up a, a nailer here as well, just because we need something to nail to. And then, uh, yeah, should be good. So I've got to do a few more tests. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and put up that, that sheet rug or that uh, cement board. All right, see so ya. Yeah, a little bit. Got the cement board up. Going to go ahead and uh, ta start taping, feathering this, uh, feathering this on. And then um, we will go ahead and red guard it after that. Okay. All right, we're all taped up. Uh, I kind of made a mistake. I should have cut this this wall a little bit lower. Now I'll have to do some actual putty work, which is, you know, it is what it is. But we're all taped up, and uh, and yeah, so pretty easy here. We're gonna tape it. We're gonna we're gonna mud some of the joints up here, like at the top, down here, down there, and then uh, we're gonna mortar the rest of this stuff in all the corners, all here, and then after that, it's gonna be the waterproofing membrane. Okay, we got the, uh, the mortar put in place. I'm gonna let this uh, thin set take um, take hold. It's gonna I don't know a few hours to dry, I'm sure. And then we're doing some uh, some some mud up here, and we're gonna do some mud down there as well. Um, down there to fix that. So uh, the one thing I did make a mistake on. Well, there's a few things. You know, I used quarter inch uh, board instead of half inch, so you can kind of see. Um, you know, there's like a there's like a like a slant here, which is fine. We we can fill that in and blend it. But if I would have cut this here, then I, you know this joint wouldn't be a big deal because the tile is going to go above it. But since the tile line, uh, we cut right on the tile line because the tile line can only go up to there because of the slanted roof. So tile has to go here and then come across, and that's exactly where this joint is. If I would have made the joint down here, then it would have been fine same on this side so that's what happens when you know you know you're not experienced in this but this is you learn from these kind of mistakes I actually you know I've done this before and I, I guess I didn't learn from my mistakes anyways um, we're gonna let this mud um, I keep calling it mud but it's mortar thin set mortar we're gonna let this mortar set up and we're gonna probably I don't know a few hours a day however long it takes let this harden real well and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna put some red guard over it all right, two coats of Red Guard on. Uh, gonna let this dry and then uh, come back and start doing some tiling. Okay, so we finished up on the grout uh, today and we did the finish up on the tiles last night. Well, most of them. So this is how it looks. Nice little niche cubby. Now we, we do have to do some patchwork up here, finish that up, a little bit of trim work over here, and some patchwork up there as well, cut these things off. Um, and then uh, we're going to put some trim down here by the toilet, or the tub, and then we're going to finish up this wall, moving the electrical over, we're going to move this, and then we're going to move uh, the light over to here. Uh, what else? Toilet's in there, it's good to go, put the panel on, this is access for the back of the plumbing. And then, uh, like I said, a little bit of paint, a little bit of trim, make it pretty good.